Hello everyone, this is Mayuk from Aspire Civil Studio and in this video we are going to talk about this foundation design in the safe software. So for the foundation de design we basically need the actual forces that we are getting on the base level. Now to see the actual forces we have to go here, you can see display support and spring reaction. Just click to it and you can just select the load combination which we ha I have taken as a P which is for the dead load plus live load. In the plot type you can select arrows or a tabulated format also. And in the display result for these uh, these components, you can just select so that you can see the gravity forces. Then I'll just click to apply. And OK. Then I'll go to the plan view at the base level. Now you can see this amount of forces. I'm getting for every particular column. Okay. As per these forces, only you have to uh, you have to calculate the size of footing. Okay, so size of footing we have already calculated. Okay, now we'll see how to export this file into uh, safe software so that we can design the foundation in that safe software. I'll just import this uh, base data into safe software. Okay. Okay. So to import this, what I will do is I'll just go to the file and then export. Okay, you can see story as safe.f2k file. I'll just click okay. here. Then if you can see this first uh, first option, you will use when you just want to design any particular slab. Okay. okay. So this first option you have to use. And oh, so we, can, we can design the slabs also in safe. Yeah, we can design the slab also in the safe. So basically, okay. safe will be used for the design of slab and footings only. Okay, okay. Okay. This time now, just uh, for the designing of foundation, we'll use this second option. Explore floor loads. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So story will select the base only as we are taking the process from the base. Yeah. And here in the load casing and combination to export, here we'll select the load cases like all these load cases. Okay. Only okay. we will neglect this dynamic, this spec X and spec Y. Okay. Okay. As we are considering this earthquake in X and Y direction, so this two will be also considered. So that will be choice of the earthquake loads. Okay. So we are just going to consider this one. This only. Okay. Okay. Also, we will neglect this wind in X Y X direction and wind in Y direction. Okay. As wind is applied to the superstructure only. Yeah. Right. So what we have selected now? Dead load. Okay. Live load. Earthquake load in X and Y direction. Okay. And this lie load greater than the, this one is basically lie load less than three. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll just click to OK here. And in the load combination, for now, we'll just select this uh, date plus live is there, which we are taken as a P. I'll yeah. just select this and then I'll just click to OK. After selecting all this, just click to OK. And uh, it will ask you to save this file. So I'll just give okay. it Save model. Just save. Okay. Now the uh, this F2K file is exported. Now I'll just let just open the safe software. Now to import that ground data, uh, what I will do is. I'll just go to the file and then import and save dot f2k file. Okay. Okay. And here uh, I'll just go here. This is the file and I'll just click to open here. Now you can see only the, this uh, grid system. You cannot see any points here. Yeah. Now to see the points now, you just have to here go to the set display option. Right now you can see these points are invisible. Just untick here okay. and then click to OK. You can see the points now. Okay. And if you just right click on any particular point and yeah. if you go to the load section, you'll get the dead load and live load there. Okay. Also, also loads also you'll get. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah. For all this direction, you'll get like force in X direction, you'll get. Okay. Like gravity load also you'll get. So after importing okay. this, what we have to do is we just have to define the material and slab properties, footing properties on all. Okay. So whatever the grade of concrete and grade of steel we have taken for the superstructure design, same grade of concrete mm -hmm. and grade of steel we will take we will take in the uh, modeling of the foundation system also. 
Okay. So to define the grade of concrete, I'll go to define and then material. And here I'll just click to add new material. Then here I'll give it a name as M30. Material type will be concrete only. And this modulus stop elasticity we have to calculate, uh, which having the formula of 5000 under root of 5000 root of CK. Yeah. So it is uh, 27,386. Yeah. So this poison ratio will be the same only. Okay. This uh, concrete compressive strength we have taken, uh, this we have to take 30 Newton per mm square for the grade 30 concrete. Okay. Then I'll just click to OK. And I will add another one for the steel. Okay. So I'll give it a name as FE 500. Okay. And here material type will be rebar. Okay. This uh, weight uh, per unit volume you can take from the ATAB itself. Okay. I'll just close this and I will just modify this. So you can see weight per unit volume it is 76.97. Yeah. It is the same only 76.97. Okay. Then we have to calculate the modulus stop elasticity, which is uh, 2 into 10 is to 5. Yeah, yeah, 2 into 10 is to 5. Then the minimum uh, yield stress we have to take will be 500 for the F uh, 500 and minimum tensile stress uh, we have to take uh, 545. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll just click to OK and then OK. So right now we have just defined the material properties. Now we'll just define the footing properties which we are going to use here. Now okay. for this I'll just open this grouping. Then what I will do is I'll just go to redefine slab uh, properties here. I'll just click to add new property and for the group one, I'll just give it a name as group one, which having the depth as 350. It, yeah, 350. Okay. So group one okay. and the depth I will mention there. Then the slab material you have to mention you have to check it as a concrete. concrete. And here in the type section you have to select footing. Okay. And here thickness you have to mention 350 mm. You have to neglect this thick plate. Then just click to OK. Okay. okay. Now we have added for the group one. I'll add another one for the group two also. Uh, it's also 350 m it is also 350 m30 only this is same okay then i will add another one for the group 3 it's 400 mm 400 mm okay i'll add last one for the group 4 it's 500 500 Now the footings are added. Now we need to add another slab property here, okay. which will be for the column. Okay. okay. Basically, there will be the column. Okay. And around the column, there yeah. will be. So we need to define the column property also. So I'll just click to add new property here. And let's say I will give it a name as a column. Slab material, I'll take M30 only. Okay. And here in the type now, you have to select this stiff. Okay. And thickness, uh, you have to take more than the maximum depth of footing. So here the maximum okay. depth is 500. So we'll take the thickness yeah. as 550 mm. Okay. And for this one also, I will neglect this thick plate. Then I'll just click to okay. And then, okay. Now uh, we'll just draw the footings here. Now how to okay. draw the footings? Uh, we'll just draw the footings of the first okay. group. First, uh, let's just see the orientation of the columns in the first group. Okay. So these are the columns, the corners columns in the first group. So all those columns are the vertical only. So we have to draw yeah. the vertical footings only. Okay. okay. So to draw the slab, no, I'll select this option. You can see quick draw area around the points. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. 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 Okay. Then I'll just click to here and here 
property i will select here okay which is the group one okay. for now i'll select yeah. and the x dimension i will mention which will be uh, one shorter yeah one meter which is yeah okay and the for y will take a two. it's two meter right so then after after mentioning the dimension now just click to the point this grid point you are getting just click here yeah. okay also here here also and here okay so modeling of okay. the footing for the group one is done okay now we will do the modeling for the group two okay and the group two columns are vertical only yeah yeah that's also vertical now here property i'll select for the group two and the x dimension will be 1.1 1.1 2.3 2.3 okay. then just select the points wherever you want to draw the footing this yeah okay then i'll just select the group 3 uh, those four columns this one this one this one and this one okay okay and let's just see the orientation for those okay so those are the verticals only you can see those four columns yeah okay so we have to draw vertical footings there only so the size is 1.3 Okay, first we'll just change the property here. Okay, we'll take the group three four hundred. Okay. okay, for the x dimension it is one point three, and for the y dimension uh, two point seven. Two point seven. So I'll draw this around this point, this one and this one. Okay, now only group uh, group four is remaining. Okay, so yeah. only those middle two columns are there. So and those are horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. So we need to draw the horizontal footing only. So here first I will select this uh, group four footing, and the size we have to mention. So for the x direction it will be three point one meter now. Okay. And for y direction it will be one point six. Yeah. Then I'll just select this point so that I can draw the footing around this point. Okay. Now the modeling is done. Now what we have to do is the footing modeling is done. Now we have to draw the columns here. Okay. Now how to draw the columns? We have to use the same command. Uh, quick draw area around the points. Okay. So to draw the column properties, I'll select this option only. And here in the property section, I'll just select this column. For now, just draw the vertical columns for the vertical oriented footings. So okay. for the x direction, the length will be 0.23. Okay, and for y direction, the length will be 0.6. Yeah. Right? As the size of column is 230 by 600 mm, uh, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. So for vertical footings, I will draw like this. I'll just select the points. Okay, the grid points. In for horizontal footings, I'll just send for the x dimension, it will be 0.6, and for y dimension, it will be. One two three. Now here the modeling of the foundation is completely done. Yeah. Now what you have to do is you just have to assign the soil data. It is a soil below the footing that soil can mm -hmm. resist some loads footing. Yeah. So for that, what we have to do is, uh, I'll just go to the define section and then soil subgrade property. Okay. Okay. I'll just modify this soil one, and here you need to change this soil subgrade modulus. Now, how to calculate the subgrade modulus? The formula for that is the SBC of soil, which we have taken two fifty square, right? Yeah. Just have to divide it by the allowable settlement. Okay, now the allowable oh, oh, subgrade modulus is equal to safe bearing capacity of soil divided by allowable settlement. Yeah, allowable settlement for the isolated footing or the combined footing is uh, 25 mm. Okay. And in the case of uh, raft foundation and pile foundation, pile plus uh, pile cap foundation, the allowable settlement is 50 mm. Okay, understood. So right now this 250, you can see this one is the SBC of soil. You just need to divide it by the allowable settlement. Now allowable settlement you have to take. So okay. that will be 0 0.025. Okay. 
Okay. okay. So this is the soil subgrade modulus you are getting, which is ten thousand. Okay. Okay. So here I have taken this, and here in the non-linear option, you have you just have to take compression only, as there are the compression forces. Okay. Okay. Then just click to okay, and okay. Then what okay. you do is you just go to the select, select properties. Sorry, select, and then slab properties. Select all the groups. Okay, you can see all these are highlighted in the green color outers. Yeah. Okay. Then just go to the assign support data and soil properties, okay. and here just uh, apply the soil one. Okay. okay. That uh, it safe will know that there is a soil. It can resist some amount of load. Okay. okay. Condition. So modeling is completely done now.